You know, in the last two or three years, uh, in-dash DVD players have really become popular amongst our customers. You know, as prices have come down, a lot of them have started to take advantage of the fun of having a touchscreen in their dashes. But there are a lot of models on the market, and a lot of them seem to have similar feature sets and do a lot of things extremely well. So we decided to uh, help with the buying decision-making process and bring in five models from five of our top brands, put them through their paces, and find out exactly what each one does extremely well. With Kenwood's DDX719, we really like, first of all, we really like the 7-inch uh, the screen, which is nice, but we mostly loved the, uh, the speed with which you can get through uh, iPod menus, setup menus, that sort of thing, and, and the graphical user interface is really, really nice. Um, so we'll demonstrate with the iPod menu. Um, songs come up very quickly, and it's very easy to search by artist, by album, by song, etc. And uh, you can scroll with uh, just your finger and find the album that you want extremely quickly. We're looking now at the Clarion VX401, and it offers, for the price, a really nice package of features. One of the features we really like is the satellite radio connectivity. Unlike most receivers, which require two pieces to get direct connection of satellite radio, the VX401 only requires one, uh, just one box that plugs into its dedicated input on the back of the receiver. With JVC's KWAV60 in-dash DVD receiver, uh, the feature we, that really jumped out to us is the app mode. Basically, when you have your iPhone connected, you get control over your playlists uh, and control over your pan direct control over your Pandora app. But it also has app mode, which lets you play the audio and sometimes the video from certain apps. So you can pull up, say, your MotionX GPS drive navigation app. You don't get direct control on the screen, but you get to see your maps as you're navigating, which is really nice. It's almost like having a built-in navigation receiver. Um, other apps include video apps like Netflix, which you can watch while you're parked, or internet radio apps like Mog, which uh, actually will show you album art and song title and let you track up, track down, and hit play and pause. So app mode is, is a really nice extra feature. With Pioneer's AVHP 3400BH receiver, um, a lot of things stood out to us. We, we like the intuitive menus, we like the, the graphical user interface, but what we liked most of all is the Bluetooth connectivity. It's extremely easy to pair. You just pair it from your device, in this case, our iPhone, and it gives you a code if you need it, and you just hit pair, and you're done. It's just that quick. And then once your phone is paired, you can go into the Bluetooth audio section and play the music that's stored on your Bluetooth compatible device. Um, so we like that. That's very nice. It, it gives you pause and play options, and you control track up, track down from your device itself. But you still get song title, artist, and album title, which is very nice. The other thing we really like is this slide-out uh, phone menu. So it slides out without taking away the rest of your, uh, your music information, and you can make phone calls or receive phone calls or access your phone book, and it's really nice. And when you're done, you just slide that menu back in. So we're very impressed with the Bluetooth on this Pioneer model. With Sony's XAV64BT, quite simply, we adore the screen quality on it. It's, it's, it's got great resolution. It's very easy to see, as you can tell with the album art. Um, and it's, it's, just, it's a really nice screen. for you. Your menus come up vividly. Um, videos play nicely, only when you're parked, of course. And like I say, you can see album art and, and easily read at a glance song titles and album titles because really when you're driving, you don't want to have your eyes on the screen. You want to have your eyes on the road. So anything at a glance is, is, is a good thing. So yeah, the uh, screen quality of the Sony is, makes it a, a clear winner in this category. So there you have it. We hope that this has helped start to shed a little bit of light on what each of these receivers can do. And remember, if you have any questions about DVD receivers, you can always give us a call.